Since the early days of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Vladimir Putin has privately admitted that the war didn't go according to the plan. This is discussed in an investigative article by the New York Times, which analyzes the reasons for the defeat of Russian troops on the territory of Ukraine. Journalists publish information from their own resources about the meeting between head of the Central Intelligence Agency, William Burns, and chief of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Russia, Sergei Narishkin, which took place in November this year. In a rare face-to-face -face meeting with the Americans last month, the Russians wanted to deliver a stark message to President Biden. No matter how many Russian soldiers are killed or wounded on the battlefield, Russia will not give up. From the article Russia Putin War Fails Ukraine in the New York Times. As the publication reports, one of the countries of the North Atlantic Alliance warned the Allies that Putin could agree to the 300,000 Russian soldiers being killed or wounded in order to gain an advantage in this war. This is about three times more than the losses of Russian troops announced by the general staff of Ukraine today. The more setbacks Mr. Putin endures in the battlefield, the more fears grow over how far he is willing to go. He has killed tens of thousands in Ukraine leveled cities and target civilians for maximum pain, obliterating hospitals, schools and apartment buildings, while cutting off power and water to millions before winter. Each time Ukrainian forces score a major blow against Russia, the bombing of their country intensifies. And Mr. Putin has repeatedly reminded the world that he can use anything at his disposal, including nuclear arms, to pursue his notion of victory. From the article Russia Putin War Fails Ukraine in the New York Times. Ten months of a full-scale invasion of Ukraine turned out to be more tragic for the Russian army than expected, New York Times journalists write. Although the military political leadership of Russia was sure that this war would be easy for the Russian army. According to the latest data from the general staff of Ukraine, Russia has already lost about 98,000 of its military in Ukraine since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Natalia Belokudria, UATV News.